ZNS Total Sports is brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. DeAndre Ayton once again with a dominant performance in NBA preseason action last night. From his mid-range jumper to his presence in the paint, the big man filled the stat sheet for the second game in a row, finishing with 21 points, 15 rebounds, 3 assists, and 3 block shots in a win over the New Zealand Breakers. Ayton and the Suns play again tomorrow against the Portland Trailblazers. The Garden Basketball League Best of Five semifinals on court last night. The pennant winning Gladstone Road Liquor Panthers dropped the opener in their series with the Cabinet Aces 92-82. The Aces got 24 points from Mark Hanna, 19 from Rashad Woodside, 15 points and 10 rebounds from Adon Charlo, while Brian Tucker Bain and Ishmael Curtis chipped in with 12 points apiece. For the Panthers, Rashad Edgecombe a side high 20 points. So Lathiel Donkey Dean, 17 points and 12 rebounds. Delano Knowles also a double double, 13 points and 12 boards. As for last night's feature game, the defending champion Olivia's guest house Cybots now one win away from a repeat trip to the championship. They put away the Police Royals 98-92 in game two. Cybots getting 28 points and 14 rebounds from Eugene Bain. Giorgio Walks followed with 22 points. Kadario Pender 14 points and 10 rebounds while Jason Colley added 13 points. For the Royals, Kent would carry 23 points, 12 rebounds. Stephen Miller 17 points. Spurgeon Johnson with 13. Dion McPhee and Rashad Gardner put up 10 apiece. Coach Ulette McPhee McQuinn and the Ole Miss Running Rebels continuing to get ready for the women's college basketball season. This is Coach Gio's first time coaching in a major Division I conference, but she's not about to forget where she came from. I'm thankful for my opportunity and my experience at Jacksonville and uh, just recruiting at other P5 conferences in the past. There's no way I would have made it and survived um, just being transparent had I not had that experience and the relationships that I was able to form. Um, it really helped and people stepped up and we were able to get it done. Coach Jo also spoke about what she said to her team ahead of the new season. The message to the returners was basically, listen, you know, you guys are my players now. You know, I'm not going to um, leave you hanging. You're not going to be the old regime. You're a part of the new era and where we're going. And, I'm, and I asked them to give me an opportunity. And, that, and that's what I asked everybody when I first met with the team. Um, you know, it's just unfortunately, a lot, of, a lot of the players were on their way out. It wasn't much I could do. Um, I didn't have any animosity or any, it wasn't any friction between any of them. You know, they were all very pleasant. I thought that they were great kids. And, uh, but the ones that stayed, I said, give me a chance and I'm going to work my butt off for you and, and put some players together so that you can have a great experience. You know, I told the seniors that I really wanted them to go out feeling good and proud about themselves. They've invested their time and they stuck with me and, and then for the kids coming in, the young ladies coming in, they understand the pressure, but at the same time, they understand the opportunity. While Yolet coaches the Ole Miss women's team, a Bahamian actually plays on the Rebels men's team. However, an injury could delay Franco Miller's freshman debut following recent knee surgery. Miller is expected to be out between three and five weeks. From a Bahamian entering college, we now switch our focus to a recent graduate. I'm talking about Lou Rawls' Tum Tum Nairn. The former Michigan State guard has now added the title of author to his resume. His book, entitled Purpose Driven, details his journey from the Bahamas to playing major Division I college basketball and beyond, no word yet on the release date. Scores in from round 10 of the Chess Olympiad in the Republic of Georgia. Our ladies team lost all four points today against the International Chess Committee of the Deaf. As for the Open Division, Team Bahamas able to salvage one point against Mauritius, courtesy of Cecil Monker. The 11th and final round is scheduled for tomorrow. The BAISS private school softball season continuing yesterday. The Queens College Comets and St. John's College Giants senior boys playing at the Blue Hill Sporting Complex. QC won big 20-6, but Coach Elliott still not impressed with the way the game was played. That is not QC way. Whenever you play in an inferior team, you do not clown. That's why I have them running now. Mm -hmm. You do not clown. You play the game for what is worth. Runs don't matter. It's how you play the game. And I teach them better than that. I don't teach them to clown on nobody. Once you play the game the way it's supposed to be played, it'll work out. The Providence Volleyball.